you are itching on your arms, neck, legs, you've likely been bitten by a mosquito or two or three. Like you. Like me. <laughs> it's mosquito season, and one of the hardest hit areas is Green Valley Ranch in northeast Denver. Lance Hernandez has talked to some of the homeowners who are beefing up their arsenals to keep the bugs at bay. They're voracious, I guess is all I can say. They're everywhere. Families under attack by an army of mosquitoes. This is incredible. I had family here over the weekend and friends, and I mean, we couldn't stay outside. Deborah Meglio says the mean little critters have left her with bites in places she can't show. I mean, it's typical. Mike Weissman at Vector Disease Control International says our extended wet spring contributed to the problem. The good news? Most of the blood-sucking critters we're seeing right now are just nuisance mosquitoes, not the Culix critters that carry West Nile. But Weissman cautions there are Culix mosquitoes out there. These are mosquito wristbands, and I've gotten eight of them because I'm giving them to my grandchildren to wear tonight. Deborah Meglio not taking any chances with her family's July 4th celebration. She has sprays, lotions, even special plants for protection. Oh, it smells wonderful. It smells like lemon. It smells much better than anything I've put on my body. She also got an extra bug zapper to complement the one that's been working hard. I heard it all during the night, and you can see it's now coated with, with, uh, with mosquitoes. The mosquito problem is growing all across Colorado. They're spraying for them in Moffat County. In Well County, the health department warns that increasing hot weather and afternoon thunder showers create favorable conditions for the Culex mosquito that carries West Nile virus. Lance Hernandez, Denver 7.